Welcome, this is Bloomberg Quint. Indians are known for their love for gold, more so when the going gets tough and when we turn to the yellow metal for what's considered to be a safe investment. And it's also an attractive one to keep as a mortgage in the exchange for some funds, when times are tough especially. And it doesn't get tougher than this, which is why we are now in conversation with Mr. VP Nand Kumar, the MBA and CEO of Manapuram Finance. Mr. Nand Kumar, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Uh, let me begin by asking you about what your reading is when it comes to financial stress currently on ground. And considering we are expecting a contraction in the economy, uh, what kind of impact does it have on the needs from households? So as far as the situation in India is concerned, I feel like it is better compared to the uh, many other markets, especially Europe, America, etc. India, where one sixth of the world population is living, uh, that uh, as a percentage of the incidence in the world, it is very, very low. And uh, the death rates are also very low. And from today onwards, uh, these are uh, many of these are uh, partially relaxed. So, uh, so the economic activities are uh, particularly in rural areas. Uh, it is uh, the activities have started in agriculture. It, uh, the activities have started. Uh, small construction activities are also there. Um, many there are uh, uh, many districts which are in the green zone. Many are coming to the green zone, barring. Few uh, very uh, yeah, a few areas like Mumbai, uh, uh, then Chennai and uh, Delhi, etc., etc. Uh, the, the other places uh, it is already uh, managed. The situation is managed. So uh, the, the the activities. Uh, particularly in uh, uh, the rural and semi-urban markets are uh, around 50% uh, 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 is normal. So uh, I think, uh, yeah, India will be able to man live with uh, the COVID situation. Uh, uh, yeah, in the, it will find a way to live with the COVID situation in a couple of months' time. So that's the ground reality as well as uh, India is concerned. Uh, regarding our business, uh, yes, the, uh, our business also has some stress. Uh, not in uh, gold loan segment. Uh, our gold loan segment, which is around 87% of the portfolio, uh, that, uh, that also our gold loan tenure is only three months. We are, uh, the customers are in the habit of uh, paying interest almost every month. And now with the COVID uh, situation, uh, the, it is prolonged to around one and a half months. Uh, 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 that is only accrual, what is seen in, uh, uh, yeah, in the gold loan. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah, in other areas where, uh, which is around 13% uh, uh, of our portfolio of, uh, uh, yeah, the, the, Vehicle loan, uh, yes, uh, up to uh, uh, yeah, till the lockdown, the collections uh, were good. The, the NBA level was contained at around three percent, which is the uh, which is very much uh, uh, yeah uh, considered good uh, as well as the market standards. So after that, uh, the collections have come down because the people were not uh, able to move. And online collections, uh, which, uh, uh, yeah, uh, which were not uh, uh, usual, uh, is becoming uh, usual now. Uh, uh, nearly 40% of collections uh, have happened during the lockdown period also. Uh, the, the, yeah, and uh, in a short period of time, we are able to provide uh, various or not to applications, apps, uh, which, uh, which are customer friendly. So, uh, so uh, I hope the collections will improve to around uh, 60 percent uh, towards the end of this May in uh, in uh, work loan portfolio. Okay, the other portfolios. Yeah, I, I just wanted to come in and ask you 
about the outlook for demand, sir, because, sir, uh, from what I understand, you made a recent statement saying that demand for gold loans may rise in the aftermath of the lockdown as risk profiles of borrowers deteriorate and lenders become risk averse. So can you elaborate on that point as well a little more? The reason is uh, yeah, the, the, all the lenders are now uh, are engaged in election because there are some years uh, and uh, no, there are some uh, uncertainty uh, about the uh, COVID situation uh, uh, yeah, coming back to the normal situation. The, so uh, whether it will take uh, yeah, three months or six months to uh, reach uh, back to the uh, old level or, uh, or the nine months, etc., there is some uncertainty. Because of that, all the lenders are uh, yeah, engaged uh, in collection only. Uh, and uh, uh, the lenders are not dispersing any amount uh, as they are all busy in collection. As we, uh, the worry in collection is not there uh, uh, in uh, gold lending. <clears throat> the dispersals are not stopped. Even during the lockdown period, we were able to grow uh, by around uh, two, three billion INR uh, in gold loan uh, because of uh, yeah, uh, the online solutions we have provided. We, we have an online, uh, yeah, uh, online gold loan product where the customer uh, uh, is able to keep his jewelry here at free of cost in, in our safe custody and also get it uh, drawing power up, which is 75% uh, of the gold value. Uh, many of the customers uh, the, uh, have not uh, had not availed that in the past. It is around 45 percent of our portfolio, nearly 50 today, uh, around 50 percent of the portfolio is uh, this online go loan. Many of them have not availed during the lockdown period. It was a big blessing for them because uh, the, uh, they could use the, uh, the drawing power uh, better. Because of that, we were actually able to grow around 3 billion INR in gold loan. So okay. this is uh, so this shows that demand is uh, increasing. And now today, 80% of our bank branches are open. From today onwards, we should see more uh, uh, demand. Fair enough. So, so as demand increases, my next question is, that once the lockdown is completely lifted, there are less travel restrictions, which are also removed eventually. Uh, so I reckon that you do expect a good flow of customers to come through your branches as well. In that case, uh, what do you expect in terms of gold loan growth? Because I'm also working under the expectations that gold prices will rise, which is why a lot of these borrowers would want to take advantage of that. Yes, uh, that, that, that is also the... But there are many customers uh, who wanted money, uh, who may not have uh, already pledged gold. These customers will come. Uh, so re redemptions also will uh, happen because many of the customers wanted to take advantage of this uh, price increase. But they also have the anxiety whether it will go up. So uh, the, they are not sure, many of them are not sure whether it is to their advantage or not. So a small section uh, of our uh, borrowers may feel like, uh, let, let us take the advantage. So uh, so long as the uncertainty about the economy, which is, uh, which is pursued by the market, that, that situation may not be there that these people will buy and sell, don't redeem and sell. So the likelihood is uh, the, there will be more customers coming forward to avail gold loan. All right. So, so my follow-up question then is that there is also conjecture that banks may not have the kind of capacity to lend against gold, which is why this also comes in as an advantage for gold finance companies such as yourself. So your view on this aspect? The, uh, see, the, the situation uh, now, as far as the banks are concerned, is uh, the, uh, they have a, a huge liquidity with them. 
and uh, not able to lend. Uh, and because uh, many of their customers uh, have opted for moratorium, uh, once this uh, moratorium period is over, uh, they, they also will be uh, more uh, after the recovery of these uh, two, three installments. But of course, uh, they will have a lot of interest uh, in the gold loan, but uh, their reach is uh, uh, compared to uh, us is not that uh, yeah, widespread. Uh, so the gold loan companies uh, uh, will have some advantage. This is what, uh, uh, what is my assessment of the situation. Okay. Uh, final question then is, uh, so your near-term outlook when it comes to net interest margins? I, yeah, I am hopeful of maintaining this. Because uh, the reason is our uh, uh, yeah, ticket size remains around uh, 30, 35,000 rupees. And uh, the average tenure also, there is no much difference. Uh, it is around 60, 70 days only. It is uh, being short term and uh, small ticket. Uh, yeah, uh, the custom and also the regular uh, uh, recovery is happening with regard to interest. I think the, uh, the, the people and uh, don't feel any uh, yeah, burden, particularly because uh, many of the customers are frequently transacting through online, weekly, etc., etc., more or less like an overdraft. Okay, all right. All right, Mr. Nandakumar, we leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining us and talking to us here on Bloomberg Paint. Thank you. Thank you.